Morning. Long time no see. Back in the Ogwin Valley. And it all went, Glen Ogwin. It's, uh, it's over three months since my last video. And the last video was a visit to the doctors, or to the hospital. Because I broke my foot and I broke my leg. <laughs> so a little bit of an update on that. It's the first time back out. Um, the two brakes are healed all right. But I had um, ligament damage in the ankle. My foot's still swollen. So I've managed to get my boots on. <laughs> and I'm going to just have a wander. Well, the plan is have a wander up to Thlin Edwell. Have a walk around Thlin Edwell. And if the foot allows, I'll uh, carry on and go up um, probably a garn or a glit of hour. Uh, see, how I, see how I feel when I get up there. Uh, I'm not sure how far I can go because uh, every day by the afternoon my foot's all swollen up again. So, uh, first time I've seen the car park empty. It's uh, Monday the 9th of November. And in Wales, it's the first day back out after our second lockdown. We've had a 17 day circuit breaker lockdown. So this year has been a bit of a washout for walks. I just got back out a couple of times after the national lockdown. <laughs> then I injured my leg. And then just as I'm getting fit again, we had another lockdown. So make the most of it today. No idea how far I'm going to get. But uh, that's the plan today. Uh, weather, not too bad at the moment. It's supposed to be cloudy all day with heavy showers, a little bit of a breeze. I just feel a little bit of a chill in the air, but it's not cold. Probably about, uh, it's probably, probably about nine, nine, ten degrees without the wind, a bit cooler in the breeze. So uh, back in the Ogwin Valley, um, today is what it will be. See how far we get. But that's uh, the garden up there. The glitters. See a bit of cloud coming in there now. So it looks like it's going to be a cloudy day. So let's go and have a walk. Right, start of the Slinid Road path. Uh, never seen the car park so empty. That car park's empty, apart from a National Trust vehicle. And the car park down the road that I parked in is empty. Uh, the booze reopening tomorrow, but the lockdown's supposed to end the 9th, which is today. So, looks like they're not going to see too many people. But the weather, you can see, is starting to cloud up over there. A nasty one there coming in. I think I might get my coat on now instead of a uh, soft shell. Not much water in the streams. A bit of sunshine over that way. Had it all wind. Foil gawk in the background there. Gone. Trivan. The uh, glitter vark in the cloud there. Oh, I'll have a walk up here, see how my foot does. I'm also so out of condition. <laughs> I've um, had to loosen my belt <laughs> on my walking trousers this morning to get them, get them fastened. So hopefully over the next few months I'll start getting fit again. There we go. There we go. Then Edwell, Coom Edwell. It's a bit sheltered from the wind here, and it's been cold in the wind all the way up, and you just step into the into the coom and the wind drops and uh, straight away the temperature rises about three degrees <sighs> look at that i've missed this and no people about i can't believe it 
I thought everyone would be uh, flocking here today, that's why I came early. What time is it now? Uh, 20 to 9 now. Yeah, I left home uh, quarter to 7. Oh, what a beautiful view. Legs okay, foot's okay so far. Using the walking poles as uh, crutches. And uh, something else I wanted to talk about today. I've uh, got the t-shirt. Oh, uh, they can see that. Uh, Mountains for the Mind. It's a charity that helps people with mental problems. And I'm planning on doing a, a fundraising walk. Uh, I was supposed to do it in October, but obviously with the accident and the lockdown, it didn't happen. So I'm planning to do the West Highland Way, 96 miles in March, hopefully. As long as we're not in another lockdown or Scotland's not in a lockdown. So uh, I think the main aim of the charity is to try and get people out into the, well, into the fresh air, mountains, uh, countryside, coast. And the number of people that have been helped in these type of initiatives say how much better it makes them feel, how they can get out in the mountains and forget about the problems. They don't go away, but if it helps them, I know it helps me, it makes me feel peaceful when I'm in the mountains. I'm trying to get wound up. You know, you have bad moods and I'm not saying I have mental health problems, but you do, everyone goes through trials and tribulations that, uh, that make you feel down, um, a bit depressed maybe, fed up, whatever it might be. And coming out to somewhere like this, especially when there's no other people about, it's just, it, I can't explain it, it's a magical feeling. I just can't wait sometimes, get itchy feet, get out in the mountains. Um, I've only walked, it's half a mile to the car park if that. Um, it's the kind of place that's accessible to most people. And if you've got um, any degree of fitness at all. I mean, not really even in the mountains, but we are surrounded by some of the classics here. <laughs> And uh, the other aim of the charity is to get people to talk about the mental health. So if you have mental health problems, it's talking to someone, um, an expert, a helpline, the Samaritans, your friends, fellow walkers if you're out and about. And uh, sometimes just talking about problems helps as well. So uh, Mountains for the Mind, it's a worthwhile charity. Unfortunately, in the times in which we live, people do suffer a lot, even more than ever, from uh, mental health problems. So, you know, it's not it's not the uh, the permanent fix, but it is a charity that can help. So, I just thought I'd go and mention that today. Peacefulness. That's what it gives you. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful and not a person in sight. A raven come in that. Uh... Right, so I think the uh, the plan is I'll wander around and uh, see if I can get up the Devil's Kitchen path and uh, see how my foot is when I get up there and then we'll see what we do from there. Realise now how fit I am. I've only come, <laughs> only come halfway down the lake, but look at that view now. Clouds are cleared mostly. A bit grey up there. I think the heavier rain is supposed to be this afternoon. <sighs> Carry on down to the bridge and have a drink there, I think. The bridge. The size of that piece of slate. <laughs> That's all one piece that was lifted in by Chinook. It makes it easier, but you know I've got some fond memories of uh, nearly killing myself crossing up on those rocks up there before the bridge was here. <laughs> yeah. Remember the days? 
Let's stop and have a drink, I think. By the sound of running water. I have seen one other person, the lady went on the lower path. That's the only person I've seen so far today. Oh, I'll have a sit down here. And look at that view. You can just admire that for five minutes. Oh, forget how uh, difficult that little bit of a scramble is. See Slinogwin in the distance. Looking at that eye. Cloudy up coming in over there. That's uh, that crack in the rock there is the proper devil's kitchen. Uh, you can get up there, but there's a bit that borders on a grade two scramble, a big rock that you have to somehow clamber over. So the path just goes round to the side and up that way. My leg's okay. A few twinges in my knee because I'm not used to being using it. And uh, I'm favouring for a left leg, so uh, the calf on my right leg is a bit tight. But uh, still, I've only seen the one person. It's all good. Oh, I'm a long way short of uh, proper fitness. All right, carry on going up here. I'm not filming too much as I'm walking because I'm using the walking poles to, to help my leg. But just stop every now and again. Whew. There's the style. That was harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh. I'm not dead yet, but I don't think I'm far up. Have a sit down and then have a wander up and decide what to do. It's worth coming just for that view. All the sunshine's out there where I'm not, and all the grey clouds are coming in where I'm going. Hopefully, the rain will hold off. Nice, that's the top of Devil's Kitchen now. I'm gonna head up a garn and then back down, back down the other side. Foot's hurting a bit, but not too bad. Uh, I'm not going up them horrible scree slopes and the clouds coming in that way. So hopefully, I can get up there before the thick cloud comes in. Better get a crack on then. Some of it have And a bit windy. Some of it It blew over then. It dropped down there. No view at the moment, so I'm going to sit for five minutes and see if it clears up. See if we can get a bit of a view before it starts back down. It's patchy, so I might get a view in a bit. Just getting a bit of a view down there. Sorry about the wind noise. Thank you, see. really thick now, no chance of any views. I'm going to make my way back down. It's getting really windy and a lot colder. Back down that way. A bit dodgy with the wind. I'm going to go back down that way. Uh, got to go. Easy. I've forgotten how hard this was coming down. <laughs> Clouds not lifted, still windy, but a bit more sheltered here. And I'm on the uh, last of the slate bit. And uh, surprising how nervous I've been coming down this with the damage I did falling last time. 
one trip and I'm afraid of doing some more damage to my foot but uh, it's, it's okay so far the knee's a bit dodgy feels like it's going to collapse at times but that's because it hasn't been used too much we are see Clinogwin oh it's gone <laughs> very briefly <laughs> it all cleared up again for the view when I get the camera out and the clouds come back in but uh, there's a bit of a view Slyn Ogwin keeps coming and going it's clear behind me still cloudy on the top though there we go a little bit of a view fantastic now clouds lifting nice and sunny out that way oh, my knees are struggling now Views all around. Had a day of hour. Uh, can't quite see Royal Gok. Oh, Penny all win. <laughs> and now that all the others have gone again. It keeps coming into view and then just disappearing. But it's a lovely day now. The wind dropped a bit down here. No, I haven't dropped, it's probably more sheltered. Let's have a look at the view from here. The A5 and the Nam Valley. <laughs> it's quite interesting with the clouds. Rather than just a bright, clear blue day, you get to see the views, but when you've got clouds whistling across like this, it's quite interesting. There we go. And there's the summit of Agan, all clear. Now I'm not up there. How typical is that? Still cloudy that way. Oh, steep climb now that. I'm uh, struggling a bit on the steps. My foot's not too bad, it's throbbing a bit. But my knee. <laughs> Keep feeling as if it's going to collapse. So I'm glad I got the walking poles. Every time I step down a step, I think I'm going to go flying. So just taking it really slow. Uh, at least there's some views down here. Uh, heading down to Slyn Edwell. Eventually. Just stop for a drink for five minutes. It's uh, really warm now. Uh, a garn back in cloud. <laughs> oh, my legs are really suffering now. My ankle and both knees now. <laughs> uh, all those steps don't help. So I just stopped for a drink break, take a layer off, some jelly babies, and then heading back down, turning it well and back down. Back down to Slyn Edwell. Oh, bit of a climb that. Clouds on the top again. Oh, good walk that. Apart from my legs. So peaceful. So we've had out the clouds, and it all went out the clouds. <laughs> They're gone out the clouds. How typical is that? <sighs> right, finished the walk. Excuse the wind, it's still a bit windy. Uh, five miles in five hours. <laughs> that was really hard going, probably one of the hardest walks I've done. Every step I took down felt like my knee was going to collapse. On my foot and my ankle throbbing now. But uh, first walk in the mountains since the accident. I think the furthest I've walked before today, 
since the accident was across the uh, Tesco car park so quite happy I've done it probably gonna suffer tomorrow now I'm working tomorrow so uh, thank you very much for watching don't forget mountains for the mind if you do think you need help speak to someone uh, mountains for the mind offer guided walks across the country obviously affected by lockdown uh, in England at the moment um, but there are various walks uh, for companionship and to get out into the mountains um, if you want to help the charity then uh, you can buy badges you can buy t-shirts you can buy hoodies uh, you can donate um, or you can raise funds for them so just something to bear in mind people are struggling mentally at the moment so that's the walk and just walking back to the car now a couple of hundred yards and that's me done in more ways than one thanks for watching see you in the next one Not at all when